Radio X. X. What was I thinking? Why did I lock the door? Oh, I can't believe I said that. John's shame well. X. Dear shame havers, <laughs> I am here. I am at the base of the well to release you from the chains of shame that bind you. Today's submission. When I was 25, and shortly after I started a job at a fuel company, I was attending an expo in Geneva. Although nervous and apprehensive as to how I would cope meeting people face to face that I had been in email dialogue with, I felt that the first two days of the expo were going rather well. On the final evening, I was invited to an exclusive dinner that was being hosted by one of the world's largest oil companies, ExxonMobil. The setting for this event was a fancy Swiss restaurant, <laughs> which was below street level. I found myself sat opposite one of the head directors of the company. So this person's going to be on millions if they're a director oh, of ExxonMobil. Multi, multi, big wigs. So many, so many pounds quid. <laughs> so many pounds quid, mate. Literally an oil baron. Yeah. After an amazing Swiss cheese fondue and six other fantastic courses, it was time for dessert. Although the first seven courses were pre-ordered by the event organisers, we were able to choose our dessert. Ooh. I was rather full, and the prospect of cake, dark chocolate, or anything other than ice cream wasn't that appealing. After scouring the menu, I found what I was looking for. Although the name of the dish was in French and German, the description was in English. Plain vanilla ice cream. Perfect. Easy. After watching the 50 or so other guests receive their desserts, I wondered where mine was. It was at that moment that I noticed the lights start to dim. The saloon-style door swung open and the waitress <laughs> appeared with an unnecessarily large entourage brandishing a large serving plate with what I can only describe as a two-foot-tall plastic penguin on it. They then proceeded to light the wick po poking out of the bottom of the penguin which then ignited multiple sparklers, <laughs> just to make sure those who hadn't noticed were now paying full attention. Everyone, including the staff, were scanning the room, trying to identify which lucky seven-year-old's birthday it was. <laughs> After a brief moment of confusion, the head waiter pointed to me. As the two-foot-tall sparkling penguin was placed, was placed in front of me, I thought things couldn't get any worse. All of the staff then began to clap and sing happy birthday. <laughs> The waitress oh removed the head to reveal a single scoop of ice cream. <laughs> to this day, the sparkling pingu-like ice cream surprise haunts me. No matter how well I progress in the industry, I will still be the guy who ordered a child's birthday dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Please help me by banishing my shame into the abyss. I think that is one of the sweetest stories oh. I have ever heard. <laughs> Imagine you're in an exclusive black tie oil baron's event yeah. and you you order the kid's you've, birthday sparkler cake. And you've kind of lucked out by sitting opposite an oil baron. Depending on how you grasp that opportunity, I would immediately shrink and not talk to the oil baron. But if you want to get ahead of that industry, what an opportunity. And then to order a two foot tall penguin ice cream. <laughs> Could offer him a scoop. Yeah, you could. I would. I would go immediately, heads in hands, and then I would start to laugh. But oh. I would. I would get the nervous giggles, and I would start to cry, laugh, yeah. cry. I think. Yeah, also, it's not your fault that you don't speak the language. No, exactly. It's like when I told you about when I was in Alicante, and they'd obviously Google translated the menu, and the two puddings on offer were called fragmentation hand grenade and, <laughs> and dumbfounded sky bacon. <laughs> What was dumbfounded sky bacon? I, I've no idea. Dumbfounded sky bacon as a pudding and then fragmentation hand grenade. Fragmentation hand grenade, that would be like uh, uh, pineapple, wouldn't it? Yes, I think so. That's, anyway, oh. thank you so much for sending that in. <laughs> you have no need to feel shame. That's such a funny story, mate. Um, and uh, guys, keep those shame wells coming to Saturday at radiox.co.uk.